Prostate cancer is a disease that affects one in six men in the U.S., and if left unnoticed, it can be fatal. While cases of this cancer continue to grow, doctors say advancing technology is proving promising results for those who detect the cancer early. Fox video journalist Brittany McAlpin got an inside look at one procedure being done at Princeton Baptist Medical Center here in Birmingham. Fixing up the house, taking out the trash, and watching sports. Just some of the things on a man's to-do list. But going to the doctor, maybe not so. Good morning, Mr. Jackson. For Eddie Jackson, however, a trip to the doctor is high on his list of priority. The way I found out about prostate cancer is they had a free screening uh, date set at church. I went to our local clinic, had it checked. It was there that Eddie underwent tests that led to numerous screenings with some surprising results. 12 tests is did on my, my prostate and uh, three of them came back positive for cancer. Eddie is one of a growing number of men being diagnosed with prostate cancer. While the cancer can be fatal, advancing technology is giving Eddie and other men the chance to continue on with a normal life. Eddie says he knew right away the treatment option he wanted. I decided the robotic surgery was better for me. And so that's where I am now, for to have the robotic surgery. Using the Da Vinci surgical robot, doctors are able to operate in areas that can sometimes be hard to get to when performing open surgery. We're able to save very small blood vessels, save very small nerves. We're able to tediously dissect through areas that, that preserve muscle um, and other organs and structures. Dr. Bivens gave us an inside look at just how the procedure is done. During the robotic surgery, a camera is inserted inside the patient and the surgeon can see a 3D high definition image while performing the surgery. The doctor is then able to operate on the patient by sitting at this console. As he moves his wrists, hands and feet, the Da Vinci mimics his exact movements. If I want to throw my hand, that needle will go or the, the arm will move. Being able to make precise movements like that leads to less blood loss less pain and less recovery time. Eddie was up and walking the next morning and later that day out of the hospital and cancer free. He offers this advice to other men. I'm a young man. A young men out here mostly think it's just happening to older men and it is not. It's also happened to younger men too. So my urge to you is to go and get checked. Don't just put it off. Protecting your health. I'm Brittany McAlpin, Fox 6 News on your side.